Cervical cancer, you know, that's something I know that you know is very close uh, to me. And I'm really looking forward uh, to making sure that the developing countries have access uh, to the HPV vaccine. Um, you know, immunizations of vaccines are given on the premise that uh, you want to prevent disease before it starts off. You want to prevent disabilities, you want to prevent uh, suffering, and in some cases, death. And when you look at uh, the cancer burden in developing countries, really, um, the African, especially in Africa, Africa cannot withstand a cancer epidemic. So we really have to make sure that we do something. And this is why I'm so happy that Gavi has invested you know, so much in uh, the provision of uh, HPV vaccine, which is going to really shift that burden of um, uh, cancer deaths away from the developing countries and perhaps even put it on par with the developed countries. And finally, as your medical practitioner, as, uh, as a woman, when you see this, the, the faces in front of you of people that, that, uh, that, that suffer and the changes in their lives, how does it affect you? It's really terrible. As I said, you know, one becomes a doctor because you want to save lives. And cancer has been one of those things in the past where you really felt helpless, hopeless. You see the despair in patients' eyes, you see the suffering, you see the pain, and you see people dying painfully. There's nothing as catastrophic to a medical practitioner as losing a patient. But, you know, in developing countries, you know that uh, access to screening is a problem. Access to uh, treatment was a problem. In Zambia, we used to refer patients for radiotherapy outside at great cost. Right. Uh, but we're lucky because now we have a radiotherapy center. But it's still not enough because the demand is huge. What more needs to be done for children, for women? What we are about to do now, we need to do more. We need to uh, roll out uh, new vaccines against uh, diarrhea and uh, pneumococcal to uh, all the countries in need. And this will save millions of uh, children's lives. Unnecessary deaths, totally unfair because we have the means. Then we need to strengthen the health systems uh, to uh, go for those bottlenecks that prevent uh, uh, the vaccines uh, to get out to the hard to reach areas and the hard to reach children. What we want to make sure is that every child everywhere has access to them. It's as simple as that. It can be done. We did it with smallpox. We're doing it with polio. Today there are 11 vaccines. If we can get those to every child everywhere, we can make a dramatic difference in the health and happiness of the world. Seth, thank you so much. Thank you. With the Gavi Partners here in Dar es Salaam, I'm Zain Verji.